Hello everybody, welcome to a video update specifically for Bitcoin. I want to warn you everybody that a potential crash for Bitcoin is incoming, underlining the word potential. Of course, what I'm trading right now, we have a range high, we have a range low. Currently this area here could be a deviation and there's multiple reasons for that to happen. Okay, if we take a look at the daily chart, I want to show you a few things. So overall every single key top or key low happened on the principle of failed auction theory right so what i mean by that if we're talking about this area right here so we had the uh, range high and we had a range low essentially here we had a deviation we came back and we rotated back down to the range low where we had a deviation as well if we come into this area right here okay we're talking about the ftx crash Generally, we did have a deviation below a key low, spent some time there and we came back up. And overall, every single key high um, has the same theory, right? So, let me just show you over here, we have a key high here, we close above, another close, then we swing further apart on that high, these highs here, and then we fell back down. And the same thing happened in this area as well, right? So we had a key high here, came above it, then did a failed auction. And overall, it's pretty much the same thing happening over and over again. So here could be the same situation. In terms of technicals, I do have um, reasons to believe that this could be a potential top. First of all, we did hit the one-to-one -one extension from this low high to this low. Perfectly hit as well as a liquidity being taken from a few days. And the other thing is we do have the deviation pocket in here as well. Then if I zoom out and I show you another technical tool, the pitchfork. Overall, if I zoom out, if I hide all the key levels, and if I take the pitchfork from the bear market lows to this high and put it back down to the August low, generally you can see it's been very nicely respected. Low, low, around the mid, flipped in support, pushed back up, up to the high of the pitchfork, came back down, deviated a bit, came into the mid, and currently we're up at the highs. Overall, I don't think this is a good place to be buying Bitcoin on spot, because even if you go to 100k, this is about to X return, which on a such volatile and risky asset as BTC is not worth it. Currently, there's a lot of hype coming in from the ETF inflows. If we take a look at Crypto Greed and Fear Index, it's not looking as a good time to buy. Some on-chain stuff is generally telling you that a lot of the people are currently in profit and generally when these type of events happen there's uh, usually kind of a pullback happening in terms of a pullback i do think that the mid of the range 44k is very very likely to be hit in terms of other technical levels in my opinion if we come back below this low which is actually a poor low so generally in terms of a tpo chart there's reasons to come back down and take it now if we take a look at the naked point of controls a lot of naked point of controls are here also we do have a lot of down here i just don't have them marked out because they're not that significant in my opinion overall when is this failed auction gonna activate because there is a time when it will activate currently it's not activated yes we do have a reason to believe that it may happen but it's not activated just yet so what could happen right now we can come back down into that daily and if we actually come back into this area, we're going to be coming back into this range. We're going to lose the first area of support. We're going to be breaking the first range to the downside. And generally, this would signify weakness, in my opinion. Yes, right now we do have a sideways range. In terms of rotations, we're spending a lot of times at the low. Uh, so this is not a very bullish sign. When I'm talking about last time, we're just spending a lot of time in terms of rotation. Generally, you can see rotation here, 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 here. All these rotations happen kind of fast, and here we're spending a lot of time. So if we do conduct that this is the range low, we're spending a lot of time at an area of support with long positions not being able to activate price to go from here to here and have another rotation. Um, so keep that in mind and the first most important level is gonna be that daily at 49.7 generally if we lose this area right here 
I do believe that Bitcoin could dump with at least 10%, which could lead without dumping down with 20-30%. Overall from the current place to the first ever support is about 15%, and to the overall target is about 30% drop. We're talking about a loss of capitalization with 300 billion, because the current market cap is back to 1 um, trillion. So keep these things in mind guys, I don't advise you to buy Bitcoin on spot, my personal advice to everybody in the market, take profits on, 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 your, on your long position for sure, because if this ends up as a failed auction, this could hurt a lot of people who are being overly bullish, especially on Twitter right now, that's my personal advice to you. And also we have a bullish case as well, right? We could be just backtesting that daily and we can continue up further, right? That's a possibility. So you do have a bullish scenario where you backtest that daily, come back above that, come into that daily. Is it possible? Absolutely. And on the other hand is you come, you lose that, come back in, move into 44K. So my best advice to you, my friend, be vigilant, especially tonight we do have the FOMC, so some volatility is going to kick in, especially when we haven't been volatile for the past seven days. So we're going to see how that plays out. Um, all these type of uh, moves, I'm talking about deviations, failed auctions, they pretty much happen all the time. Um, it's a repeatable pattern on Bitcoin, so if you've been trading Bitcoin for as long as me since 2020, you should be pretty aware of these repeatable cycles, right? So I wish you best of luck, my friend. Thank you for watching and paying attention. Stay vigilant.